Uh, we definitely haven't come here thinking, oh, we've won three, we don't care if we win the next one. We were, we really want to be the first team to win four in a row, so we're going to give it a good, good, uh, damn good go, that's for sure. A little bit nervous, always nervous when you're lining up to start, but um, you know, once we get racing, it's, uh, it's a different story. It's going to be a nice clean track, there'll be plenty of drive, there's a bit of moisture around. Unfortunately, we're not going to make any dust for the boys behind us, but um, it's going to be a good day of racing. I reckon we'll see times in uh, the mid 145s this year. broke an axle about 15 k's into the race so uh, we pulled up and had to change that and I don't know how much time we lost probably in excess of 20 minutes or so. Mac is pretty pretty pumped thinks obviously his home race as well um, something we've grown up grown up with so uh, yeah, he's pretty excited to get down he's got um got some mates down the track that he'll probably hopefully doesn't notice because he's concentrating too much but yeah, no doubt, he knows where they're camping and be a bit of a buzz and make, make us all try that a little bit harder when we know all our friends are watching. On the road section yesterday, or the old road section, sorry, we um, come over a rise a bit too fast and didn't really touch the ground until the start of another ride, so bottomed the car right out and ended up looking right down at the ground. Um, and then we came down a little bit sideways, ended up going right off the track and uh, taking out a pretty big bush. Pretty lucky not to bend anything or get a flat tyre in that, that excursion. Yeah, it was an interesting run down. Um, starting in 24th position, we've made our way up to 8th, which we're pretty happy with. Actually, been a fairly high rate of attrition. There's um, most of the car, most of the positions I've made up is uh, a result of cars either pulling out or having troubles on the way down. Trying to push through the field a little bit, you're yeah, often on the edge, and we yeah, made a couple of little mistakes, but obviously the car's here. Um, looking forward to a good, clean run home tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, I knew the track was going to be pretty heavy and drivey and um, you know last year the guys broke some axles so we weren't going to take any chances, we made sure we strapped one in the car and put a spare CV in as well. It's going to be a lot rougher going home, I think the track's going to really chop up once the bikes come through there, so it's, it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're back in 22nd position but you know hopefully we can have a crack and get in the top 10. a bit of an issue coming out of think uh, had a miss in the engine then that one stage the engine just cut out so we'll have to investigate what's happened there but the car restarted and then didn't miss a beat on the way back after that. 
I had a couple of issues, passing Greg who came third, um, <clears throat> rubbing wheels a bit, a bit too closely and ended up in the bushes and uh, took me about 20 seconds to find reverse to get back on the track and back going. But uh, yeah, once we got past, past Greg we uh, got in a bit of a rhythm. And This race is a sprint, but all the off-road races now are very fast. I mean, the level's just lifted to a stage where, you know, you can't afford to, to back off for that 10 tenths. It's, it's a sprint race for, for the whole race. And, um, you know, that, that's where the sport's lifted to. And, and uh, yeah, you just can't afford to, uh, to lose that lapse of concentration for them few seconds. for the um, Andrew and Macca. You know, when we left Alice yesterday, we were hoping for a top 10 finish. And to finish first in class and second overall, so a podium finish is, yeah, pretty exciting and uh, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. To come second in the Fink Desert race, irregardless of whether cars break down or not, it's not an easy thing to do. Now Macca, first time out with your brother in this event? Yeah, that's it. We had a pretty clean run on the way home. A couple of troubles early on, but we got them sorted and Got a good run and so ended up in second. Well done, congratulations. Big round of applause for the Kettle Brothers. I've done a little quick arithmetic. Most of the cars that you've finished in front of Dave today aren't in the championship and haven't got points. So I think that'll it'll probably put Dave first and Andrew second, but we're not 100% sure on that yet. We were going to let Andrew have a break, but if he's coming second, we might have to let him go the next race. So we'll see. I think he's already put his hand up and wants to drive the new truck already, but he's got to get in line there because Dave's got first dibs on that, so we'll see how that pans out. <laughs>